welcome to this very first episode of 10 Minutes with Fleet Europe and an industry leader. Indeed, in this new video podcast initiative, Fleet Europe will meet with the biggest industry leaders in our community. And our first guest today is Mr. Tim Albertson, the newly appointed CEO of ALD. Good morning, Tim. How are you doing? Thank you, Stephen. I'm doing really well. And uh, thank you for the invitation. Mm -hmm. I see that you are working from home. Of course, in these challenging times, this is, let's say, the new normal. Is this the case for everybody at ALD? Yes, uh, as you can see, I'm working from home and actually I'm one out of 6,000 ALD employees out of our 6,700 who work from home. And uh, it works well, I have to say, uh, even better than expected which is good. Uh, I would say, first of all, we have put in place a very strong program for crisis management that works really well across the globe. We are supporting basically our uh, you know, customers, our partners, uh, to my knowledge, in a really strong uh, way. And we are also pushing some of our strategic projects uh, that we are having in our 2025 plan, so not too bad. And I think, uh, I mean, basically within a week, we um, moved from working in the offices to work at, uh, at home. And it has, uh, as I said, worked really well. And it's interesting to see there is good and bad parts of, uh, of working on a distance and clearly uh, some of the good parts. I'm pretty sure we will integrate into our normal life when, when we get after COVID, uh, I guess. Of course, we need to talk a little bit about the impact of COVID-19. Uh, it's perhaps a little bit too early to already draw the final conclusions about the outcome for our industry, but your first feelings, uh, is it that this COVID-19 crisis could even be worse in terms of impact than the financial crisis we had in 2008-2009? I think you have to look at this in I mean, short, medium and long term. Uh, short term, I think these two crises, because I was actually here in 2008 and 9, so I know what, what, what it was like. I think these two crises in short term looks pretty much uh, alike. We talk about a major disruption in the market, a major, let's say, economic uh, impacts and uh, disruption in the way we're working. Uh, so clearly, uh, I would say the tactical plan we put in place in 2008 and 9 is pretty much the same as the one we are putting in place now for the short term. I think in the medium longer term, this crisis uh, potentially will have a much bigger impact on the behavior of people. I mean, we are impacted in our personal lives by the confinement, by the lockdown of countries, and of course we will be impacted uh, financially as well. But basically, uh, I think people will reflect more than uh, after the 2008 and 9 crisis. 2008 and 9 did not really change a lot in terms of the behavior of people. I think this one will do. Environmental thinking, environmental mindset will definitely be, let's say, pushed forward uh, even quicker, I believe. Uh, so, yes, uh, on that part, no doubt different. Uh, I think on the financial part, unfortunately, I think it could be even more uh, severe than the 2008 and 9 crisis. Also, because in 2008 and 9, a lot of the structural problems that basically uh, came from that crisis have not necessarily been addressed everywhere. And that will actually reinforce the economic, let's say, uh, crisis or the economic impact from the COVID crisis. So I think behavioral differences, no doubt, and perhaps uh, a bit more, uh, a bigger impact on the financial side, economic side from the COVID. Okay. Um, coming now to the impact on our industry. We saw already some trends happening in the industry. Um, I think about electrification, I think about mobility as a service. Do you think that COVID-19 could be a break, let's say, on the development of those trends around mobility as a service and fleet electrification? Again, I think we need to look at it short and medium term and even long term. I guess short term, again, it's true that the sharing models could be a bit impacted because people do not want to get into a car they don't, which is not their own. And uh, so the car sharing could be impacted. Uh, other, let's say, sharing models potentially could be impacted in the short run. 
I don't think in the longer run, I think that will be part of the, the, the new mobility space, no doubt. In terms of electrification, again, if we talk about the environmental uh, footprint, and environmental mindset, clearly consumers want to get into electric vehicles and the manufacturers have already started investing very heavily down that route. And in the short term, they might be missing out investments for that journey, uh, which could delay the, the, the electrification a bit. But in the long term, I'm pretty sure it's going to be uh, the road for the manufacturers to keep on the electrification. Hmm. Um, ALD, the company that you are heading, is a public company. We saw, of course, that there was also some kind of turbulence, let's say, on the stock exchange market due to COVID-19. In what way has COVID-19 uh, had an impact on the stock value of ALD? Well, it, you can read it in the in the papers. You know, we have been basically uh, dropped about 40% of the ALD share before the crisis and, and now. Uh, like any other in the industry and to a large extent what has happened across the board. So, of course, it has a big impact on the valuation of the company. I'm pretty sure that uh, this crisis will actually show that we are sitting on a very resilient business model and uh, that we'll be back to, to normal and hopefully a bit more uh, when this crisis is over. Okay, a final question coming out, let's say, of the COVID-19 um, element is and also linked to your business is that you just announced a big expansion into APEC with first of all a joint venture that you are going to start in Malaysia and secondly you announced together with your global partner Wheels in the US that you are going to start also in Japan so a movement into the APEC fleet market. Isn't it a bit strange that this comes now with COVID-19? Yeah, I think that's a good question, Stephen. I guess uh, we are looking at all our strategic initiatives, of course, also uh, these days. Uh, I mean, uh, this is not something we have been uh, doing from one day to another. This is a long-term negotiation with a partner, very strong partner, Mitsubishi for, for Southeast Asia. And I would say perhaps if we were on this on our own, we might postpone that uh, entrance to Malaysia maybe 12 months. But as we are with a very strong partner in Southeast Asia, that we have actually a very strong demand from our international key accounts that have for the last two, three years asked us when we could come to Southeast Asia and serve their fleets in that area as well. Uh, we still think this is the right move, no doubt. And we see Asia, Southeast Asia as one of the biggest growth opportunities uh, that we have at hand in, in, in the next three to four years in terms of organic growth. So um, I think it fits very well into the fact that we are a global fleet management provider and uh, this is the last part of the world that we are not covering and will be there uh, within the next two to three years. We will have a nice uh, coverage in Southeast Asia. And for Japan, it's a commercial relationship uh, between Mitsubishi Auto Leasing, Wheels and ALD. Uh, so it's again expanding so that our global clients can actually have the best services in terms of fleet management also in Japan when they come to the ALD and, and the Wheels uh, Alliance. Okay, well, in the name of Fleet Europe, I would like to thank you, Tim, for your time. I also hope that you, your colleagues and your family stay safe and well during this COVID-19 period. And I wish you lots of success with the expansion into APEC and your other initiatives. To the audience, uh, I hope that you liked this first episode of 10 Minutes with Fleet Europe. If you like it, then please uh, do like it also on your screen and share it with your colleagues, your family and your friends. And then I invite you already to meet with us again for the second episode of 10 Minutes with Fleet Europe. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye-bye.